I'm putting some tissue down where I don't, well, I'm gonna do some watercolor and ink tense pencils. And I'm going to use the stencil I was using yesterday. Uh, and I, only, I don't want it to go on the areas where I put the paper. And I'm gonna talk through a little of this and then towards the end, I will just speed things up and you can see me finish this out um, however I finish it out. Um, it's gonna be a combination of both watercolor and um, ink tense pencils. Now this stencil, oh that's a little, I'm gonna dab that, it's a little bit too wet. I'm gonna pull that up a little bit. It is gonna want to bleed. I'm not gonna get the kind of intense, sharp, sharper color that I would get by spray painting this, but that's not what I want. I want to get that watercolory, bleedy kind of feel, and I'm quite sure I am going to get some bleed. And I think when we pull this up, you're going to see there's some wonky places, and that's okay. We're going to refine this with drawing utensils pencils and pens and see what happens so oops now I need a little bit more water I think kind of hard to get the right balance of water and oh that's really wet I have no idea how that's gonna pull up it might bleed like crazy I don't know we'll see Okay, that's probably good enough. I'm gonna pull this up now. Hmm, it's okay. It's a start, you know? And that's what I, I just wanted to get something down on the paper as a start. Now, while that dries a little bit, because I'm gonna need it to dry up a little bit um, before I start drawing on it, I'm gonna cut some collage elements out. Because you know me, I always have to have a little layering going on. Oh, I guess I can pull this up now. There we go. So, yeah. So now it's time to cut some little organic bits. Little shapes. Beanie shapes. So, um, I like this stencil a lot because it has that, to me, that organic feel of cells. You guys know how much I love the cells. I haven't been doing many of my abstracts lately, so this feels kind of good to be getting back to it. Okay, so this is my Ink Tense um, Watercolor Pencil by Derwent. Um, now, I can use this to go in and just kind of draw, which I will in a little bit, and add in some detail. But I can also use it and I can run a brush over the paper later to make it bleed. But I can also just kind of dab the pencil and pick up some of that watercolor pigment and use it with this brush. So I'm going in where the pattern maybe started to do one of the little dots and failed. And I'm just kind of adding some of that in myself. I bought a huge set of these ink tense pencils and I haven't really started playing with them yet and I'm hoping, it's another reason I want to start embracing the sketchbook again, I'm wanting to use a bunch of different media I have been amassing over the years that really needs to get played with. So. As you can see this is very uh, loose and that's that's okay. As we add drawing and painting, it's going to get a little tighter. I love watercolor effects because you can get such gradation within one color. 
whereas acrylics tend to be a little flatter. I mean, you can still get water them down and get some different shading, but I don't know, it's just something so translucent with watercolor. <laughs> Thanks guys for joining me as I work through this process video today. If you like this longer format, hit the thumbs up and I'll do more like this. And thanks for following and subscribing here on YouTube and uh, check me out on Patreon. I post other content there that is only available for subscribers. I hope you'll join me over there as well. The link is below. Thanks and have a great day. I'll check in with you guys next week.